got some rain around a few leftover showers. Border counties, mostly Rockingham and Caswell northward into the uh, uh, the Danville uh, metropolitan area and a few blips on the radar right along the I-85 corridor. But that's all uh, considering what was coming our way and some heavy storms kind of playing chicken with the forecast coming through the area that did fade very quickly, but still very heavy thunderstorms hitting Charleston pretty hard now. A lot of folks about to be woken up on vacation very early in the morning at Myrtle Beach. Conditions are looking pretty stormy there over the next few hours. We get another system behind this moving very quickly as well. This could bring some damaging winds across the western part of the state uh, into Georgia and South Carolina for round two later this afternoon. Here's your hour by hour kind of a forecast. I think this could get in a little earlier than we're showing and you can see here we are at three o'clock probably around noon one o'clock. We'll start to see these storms moving in across our western counties this time around. I think the focus for this is going to be across the western tip of the Carolinas. We'll catch some of that coming through with some heavier showers and storms late afternoon, early in the evening, and then they'll drop out abruptly. We'll still keep a lingering shower chance overnight, maybe an isolated storm. Temperatures in the mid 60s early Sunday. Sunday doesn't look uh, as stormy, probably more showering. Even then, it's going to be confined mostly west. Uh, still, though, highs in the lower 80s in the afternoon with uh, intermittent showers, a possibility a bit later uh, in the day tomorrow. And then we uh, start to heat things up again. We're going to be uh, watch that storm system follow this particular path. This could shift later this morning, so I'm going to keep a close eye on this. But notice that we're kind of on the marginal edge of this. Uh, we don't really have any full counties in a greater risk area. It's close, though, and it does bear watching through the day today for those afternoon storm chances. Following day on Sunday, uh, western part of the state under at least a slightly elevated risk for severe weather. And then heading into Monday, too, uh, we could see a few strong storms across our western areas. The chances aren't very high, and this it looks more of a damaging wind threat for today. Flooding uh, induced rain, just because we're so saturated, will be more of a moderate risk. Hail and the tornado risk does look low for the foreseeable future. Fortunately for us, uh, maybe upper 60s getting up and getting out the door this morning. We've got some errands to run. You got some yard work to do. You can certainly squeeze that in early on today. 50 50 chance for rain late in the day after a high of 81 degrees. That rain chance starts earlier in our western counties. 30% by noon, 50% uh, as we get into the afternoon with rain more likely in the mountains and a high of 75 degrees today. Higher heat by Monday. Temperatures soar to near 90. Haven't had a ton of 90 degree days yet, but we'll be close for most of this week, at least upper 80s through Friday.